Good afternoon, everyone. We are on a rain delay, which may be for the rest of the day afternoon. I don't know. Uh, we're going to try and get back out and get some more yards done because uh, uh, this is a very busy day, but that's they're not we can do about it. We need the rain to keep everything green, but uh, we also need to quit so we can get everything mowed. But this morning, or this morning, this afternoon, flat tire. This thing is flat all the time. Actually, these mowers get flat tires all the time in front from rose bushes. And we've been trimming up a lot of rose bushes, so there's a lot of thorns in the grass. So uh, I go through, or I have flat tires in the fall a lot. And this tire is got a tube in it. It's the second tube in this tire. I am tired of dealing with this. And it's always going, you know, not always going flat, but it goes flat all the time. And about a year at the most, I get it out of these tubes and then they're shot. So the tire's still good. They just put tubes in it. And trying to get anything done at a tire repair shop anymore is um, kind of a, a ridiculous thing anymore. Just because um, the amount of vacationers in our area is uh, more than normal. So, and there's only one tire shop in our area. So that's the problem we have is there's so many people, they just can't control the volume or can't, cannot handle the volume. So they open at like uh, seven o'clock in the morning. You have to be in line by six and hopefully you're the first one there and you get everything done. It's just, yeah. So in order for this, me to get this tire fixed at the tire shop, I have to take it off, drop it off the tire shop, come back later in the afternoon, pick it up if I've got time, if they get to it. So I can't be down that long. So what I did is I went to Harbor Freight and bought me a mini tire changer and I mounted it to my bench. So I am going to be pulling this tire off, which I got it all unbolted. It's just tire there. And uh, putting this in on... Uh, Mounting it or putting it on that uh, mini tire changer, pulling the tire off, pulling the tube off, and then uh, I am going to try out some green slime to see if that's going to seal us up. So uh, let's get started on this. So I have used this once already, um, fixing another tire, fixing the tube, and it's not the best, but it works. And yeah, you can see there's grease all over it because these uh, rims are, uh, they do have bearings in them, sleeves in them, and everything else. So yeah, they're a mess. Just like my bench is a mess. Especially this time of the year. So yeah, everything's all full of grease. There's sleeves and bushings and everything else in there. And there is a seal on here. These are open bearings, so we got to be careful not to damage a seal, which I don't think is really going to be that big of a deal. A little bit of curb rash in there <laughs> and over here. Yeah. You know how it is with lawnmowers. They get beat up and beat up bad. This thing, what I really like about this is it's uh, pretty simple, pretty basic. And... Uh, this came with a rubber handle on it, but yeah, it's not really needed. And the other thing is it's got nice pins to quick action or quick put it back together and take it apart. So this is the hardest part of the whole deal, getting these broke down. Get it out of the getting the bead broke. Yeah, I'm just using Windex. These things, these tires are up. There we go. Are just a pain. But gotta have the gotta have them to make the world go around, I guess. Now the other part with these, this part right there, I'm trying to get this back up. Because these rims are so tight, so small, 
Oh. Probably should have put some more uh, Yeah, huh? This is the problem with them. Sometimes it goes really well, sometimes not so much. Now if it was a bigger tire, it would not be a problem. Put some muscle behind it. That was the hard part. Yep. put in there. Now in order to get this tube out, I gotta break this other side free. I should have put it like that, but Yes, this thing bounces all over everywhere, so. Mm -hmm. And on this side, I did flip this around because there's one side that's lower than the other, and that's it, see? It's super simple. You don't use it every day, you kind of forget how it's supposed to go, but... And I know what's going to happen with this. I put the other one on and getting it off is bad enough. Putting it back on is even worse. Just because it's such a small tire and a small wheelbase. I should have let all the air out of the tube first. Find a silly thing though. Anyhow, we're going to do this the best way you know how. You could choose to save them valve cores, up to you. I choose not to, and this tube is getting thrown away. Nice brand new. Go to the parts store and get the nice chrome ones because uh, I don't care about the chrome. But they're actually cheaper than the regular ones, so I don't really care. So there's several ways you could do this. Yeah, I'm here. This is the way I do this. Window cleaner works really well for everything. Get 
this out of my way. I got the nice uh, solid one, but dealing with these rims for, I think I paid, spent, spent five or six dollars at the parts store for this. It's just the easiest. So what I do now to get this thing all back on, that doesn't screw it down, this does. I said if I use this every day, it'd be different, but I don't. Here's the hard part. Get all this down. And this slips off because it does. This is what I had to do last time to get it on just because there's just so much pressure on these side walls. That was the only way I could get it in there. see how the the edge is rolling there that's the problem it's not really awful too bad if you think about it okay so now the next hard part is get this uh the seat sometimes it works well sometimes it doesn't That's it. Yeah, there's grease on everything. Yeah, it's a bench. I don't care if things get all full of whatever. There's a leak. Okay, that's a very, very tiny bubble. Try not to have this angle flying on me. Okay. So, coordinate directions. I'm going to go like uh, it's a wheelbarrow, eight ounces. So, that's where it should be. This stuff has got particles or whatever. I think there's rubber particles and everything else in there. Hmm. Goes in pretty, pretty easy. Close enough to 8 ounces for me.
It says to rinse this off with water, or rinse this out with water, which I will do because don't eat the gum up on me, I guess. Huh. It was leaking around the rim. Still is leaking around the rim. Put about 10 pounds of air in there, 12. I guess I got the wrong one in there, but. Okay, this was bubbling there. It's not bubbling there no more. I'm supposed to drive it around and everything, but uh, it's raining out and I'm not cutting my grass yet today. Not for a while. So, let's see. I was leaking over here someplace. No leaks anywhere. Is this was bubbling up in here. Best part about that, if this doesn't work, I'm out $10. And I'll get something else in here, but I'm thinking this is going to work. No leaks. Was a leak there. Yeah, I got grease all over me. But I'm thick and that's it. There's nothing here. Well, we'll just have to see. I'll have to give you an update. But I'm thinking this is going to work out good. So that's pretty much going to be it for me today. Uh, this um, mini uh, tire changer I did get at, um, where did I get that at, Vicki? Harbor Freight? Don't run off on me. O'Reilly? No, I got this at Harbor Freight. That's what it was. Vicki's in here cleaning up my mess, as always. And uh, the valve stems, or the, yeah, the valve stems. Um, all the other tire stuff, the puller, and uh, to remove the valve core, that little tool I got, all at O'Reilly's, which is just up the street from me. And uh, I think I've got $60, 70 into the whole thing, the whole setup. And then uh, this uh, slime was $10 for this tube, I think, or $11, something like that. It wasn't much, anyhow. But um, if this works, like they say it does, and like I've seen reviews on it. Um, if it lasts two years, that's fine, and I have to clean it out, take it off, or whatever, or more, put more in it probably, I don't know. But um, if this works like I hope it is, or like it is, like they say it does, I am not going to be uh, putting plugs or nothing in tires ever again. I'll just be putting that in my tires automatically. We'll just see how this holds up. Uh, being this is the front tire, they go through a lot of everything because they're always jumping up on a curb and hitting off in the areas where they shouldn't be and they're thin compared to the back tires with the treads on them. So these front tires are always getting flats. But uh, that's going to be it for me for today. Please comment, like, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Everybody have a good evening and we will see you on the next project.